I was at UCLA studying physics. I've always been interested in the foundations of physics, the deepest uh, aspects of nature. And uh, obviously quantum mechanics is at the most foundational level. The, what the group was working on was uh, uh, quantum electronics, superconducting electronics. So that had the promise of operating much, much faster, a thousand times faster, with a thousand times less energy consumption, right? And this would be able to extend M Moore's law well into the future. And in uh, 1997, I think it was, there was a lecture entitled Quantum Computing by a guy named John Preskill, a, a very uh, well-known and respected theoretical physicist. and. Uh, I knew what quantum mechanics was, I knew what computing was, but I didn't know what they had to do with each other. It, was, it wasn't the buzzword that it is today. So I went to that lecture and I took Arnold Silver, you know, the, the inventor of the squid with me, and a couple other people from TRW, and we went to this lecture and it blew my mind. You know, sort of this Alice in Wonderland stuff. I mean, uh, one interpretation for quantum mechanics is that there's parallel universes, mm -hmm. right? And that, uh, uh, when you look at the quantum mechanical equations and they tell you that all these disparate physical phenomena are happening at the same time, you know, like the same physical object being in many places at once, or living out many possibilities simultaneously, that kind of thing. The idea is that, you know, the basic idea behind quantum computing is if I could have a, if I can have single objects live out many possibilities simultaneously, what if I could have computing elements, the same physical hardware, uh, behave as if it was many, many pieces of hardware or many one processor operating like it's uh, an incredible number of processors operating in parallel doing different parts of a very difficult problem.